What's up everyone? It's Holly and I'm back with another video. Um, I'm so sorry that it's been a while since I've recorded, but my old cell phone was only recording like a minute and a half to three minutes at a time. And so it was like I'd get into a video and then it would cut off real quick. So I have a new cell phone and we're good to go now. Um, I hated being on such a break, but that's life sometimes. So anyway, today I'm go just going to do like a quick video with um, a new palette that I've gotten and test it out. That's why I don't have eye makeup on yet or lashes or anything um, and see how this goes. I ordered this because it looks like it's going to be fantastic for like some summertime looks once I get more sun. Um, but we're going to go ahead and test it out today. I have not touched it other than, than to just look at it. So if you want to see what this is all about, just stick around. And um, I just want to say welcome to any new subscribers. And thank you so much to those of you who are previous subscribers who are back and joining me again. I'm so glad that you're here. And it's St. Patrick's Day, so I'm wearing a little St. Patrick's Day shirt. So happy St. Patrick's Day to everyone. Um, so this palette I'm going to talk about is the Morphe 35G Bronze Goals palette. This is what it looks like. Um, it's really pretty. It's very different than any of their other packaging, um, but it's got tons of like bronzy, gold, champagne-y, even I think, a, yeah, like some little rose gold shimmers in it. And it's got a lot of browns, which are great for this outer V. So I'm really excited to use it. This is what the inside looks like. It does not have a mirror. But you can see this is just kind of like your summertime go-to palette. So I'm definitely excited to dig in here and that's what I'm gonna do right now. It does come with this little thing with the shade names, but I don't really care what the shade names are if we're keeping it real. So um, the first thing I'm gonna do is do my, do like a nice transition shade with like a big fluffy brush. So I think I'm gonna go into, oops, this shade right here and just go all into the outer V and the crease with it. So I'm just gonna swirl around in here. And if I'm looking down a little bit, sorry, I'm looking down at my mirror and I'm just gonna fluff it here in the outer V. So I'm just using very light circular motions. Okay, so we got that part down. And now I'm going to smooth some over in toward the crease. I think this new camera on this phone is gonna be so much better because this um, phone is the new Samsung Galaxy S10. And I was using an X S6 previously. And so we're talking like a lot better technology now than years and years ago when I got the S6. So I feel like you all might be able to see a little more detail. And um, I don't know if you're noticing, but I'm focusing most of it out here and then I'm just pulling it over. So I'm not dipping into the palette and then going straight in right there in the crease. I'm just pulling it over. So I get a good little swirl here in the outer V and then pull it over into the crease. Okay, so I think that's good for the transition on this eye. So now I'm gonna go into um, a slightly darker color, but before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and um, do the other eye off camera in order to save time, your time, so you're not watching me do that over and over. Um, so I will be right back in just a second. Okay, so I've done that to both sides now. And in looking more at this palette, I feel like it's actually going to be um, really good for fall as well because it's got some of these beautiful foiled greens and yellows down here in this corner, a really bronzy foiled color. So I think that this is gonna be nice to use in the summer and the fall, which is nice. So just a little note on that. Okay, now I'm gonna go with a slightly more dense let me rub this on my hand and get any of the previous color off of it. Slightly more dense, but still fluffy um, eyeshadow brush. And which one of these browns do I wanna go to? I think I'm just gonna do this one right here. 
um, because you can see it is darker than this one. Um, but I'm going to more like zero in with this darker shade. I can't even remember which one I just said I was going to use. Okay, I think I've got it. So I'm just swirling that around, tapping off any of the excess, and we're going to focus more here and deepen up as you get closer to the eye. So you can see I'm not bringing it out as far. And the nice thing about that is um, it's kind of going to give you that airbrushed effect, like a really nicely blended effect going, you know, more darker from the inside and then it fades out as you get more toward your tail of your eyebrow. So I'm going to keep on packing it on here and I'm just really focusing on this inner outer V. All right, I think that is good for that. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and be right back. Okay, so I've got both eyes done with that shade. Now, I think I'm just gonna go in with this, actually, my God, it's St. Patrick's Day. Like, I feel like I need to incorporate a little bit of green in here. So I think what I'm gonna do is on the outer portion, I'm gonna do this kind of shimmery green, um, but then I'm gonna go on the inner portion with this like kind of bronzy gold up here. So we'll just see how it goes, but I'm gonna use my fingers to use these foiled shades. You can also use a damp shader brush, which will work great as well, but I find that I get the most payout as far as the color goes when using my fingers. So I'm just gonna swirl it in and I know it might seem like I only use Morphe shadows, but I use Tarte shadows a whole lot as well. Um, Morphe's just really affordable and their quality is decent for the price. Is it going to be as buttery and smooth and blendable as like a Pat McGrath or a Natasha Denona palette? No, no, it's definitely not. But it's going to be um, good for the money. I can't remember what I paid for this, maybe 20 bucks. I don't remember, but it wasn't anything close to like $100 for an eyeshadow palette. Okay, so I'm just going to go in with this green right here on the outer edge. Let's go in with a little more. Like on in my mirror, it looks like really green, but I don't feel like it's showing up as green on camera but that's okay. So I'm just kind of doing this little outer area. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this on the other side while I have you since it just takes a second to do this part. I'm not blending till my arms fall off. Okay, just a little bit more here. Okay, so I think that part is good. I'm just gonna wipe my fingers off. And now I'm gonna go in with the goldy shade and see how that goes. So how y'all been doing? We had a blizzard here in Colorado. My arms are still sore. Like it's, it's not sore if I'm just kind of stationary or like cooking or putting the dishes away or whatever. But if when I was blowing out my hair, oh my gosh, from shoveling 45 inches of snow, we, that's not what we got. I'd say we got about 15 inches, but the snow drifts from the blizzard were insane. So my side of the street got the majority of the snow drifts. And so we were all out there putting in some work, myself and the neighbors on my side of the street to try to get it all shoveled. Pay no attention to these clumpy lashes I've got going on right now. I'm gonna put falsies on. But yeah, so I guess uh, my friends in Kentucky, you all had some tornado and some really high winds because I guess it moved from us your direction. So you get kind of what we were going through, just add in some snow with the wind. Okay, I think that's pretty. All right, so now I'm just doing the same on this side. Um, and I think I'm going 
to go in. I haven't done this in a really long time. I've been doing even some completely matte looks on my eyes um, over the last, like, really kind of since the last time I filmed. I've been doing all matte and just even going without eyeliner some days. But since I'm doing this kind of St. Patrick's Day themed kind of look, I think I'm probably going to put some gold glitter under my eyes as well. Okay, so I'm just going back into the green and going to pat that in where I already did to kind of meld it in the gold together. So we kind of got like a pot of gold situation working here on the eyelids. All right, so now that I've got that on, I'm going to go right back in with that dense um, eyeshadow brush and in that darker color and just kind of pack it on right here a little bit right where that green meets the brown so we have more of a smooth transition and i'm going to do the same on this eye okay so i think i'm just going to man this is a pretty palette i can see myself using this a lot as we get into summertime okay so i think i'm just going to take some of this um, urban decay heavy metals gold glitter that you all have seen me use it's a glitter liner and to me it is the very best one out there and i'm just going to put it under the eye just line right on my lower lash line with it and you all might not really be able to see it very well. Oh yeah, you can kind of see it. But just to give it this fun sort of look for the holiday. And I'm also going to do this in my inner corner. And kind of connect it up here to this gold shimmer shade that I used. These are fantastic eyeliners. And the last time I saw them on the Ulta website, which was probably a week ago, they were still on sale with the three pack for, I'm looking for my three pack and I'm not, I'm not even seeing it. I've, I've got to organize over here. Um, but they were still on sale with the three pack, which is three different colors. It's kind of like a rose gold color, this gold, and then more of like a bronze. Um, and they were still on sale three for $19.50 when they're normally... 20 bucks a piece so that's a deal if you haven't picked it up yet i highly recommend it and if you are someone who um, does like performances these are fantastic for that whether you like sing on stage and like you know for open mic nights or if you're like a dancer as far as like um a friend of mine does like aerial stuff with like the ribbons that hang down from the ceiling um, so she does performances. I think these would be great for things like that. Or if you have a child that has recitals or um, cheerleading where they have to do like makeup, um, I think this would be great for that as well. It's just like an additional kind of pop of fun when you're trying to do like a really fun and fancy look. Um, but this video is not even about those, so... We're going to keep it moving. Um, all right, I'm going to do um, just a little bit of black eyeliner and put my lashes on off camera, and I will be right back. So hold tight for a sec. Okay, I'm back. I've got the lashes on um, and some mascara and eyeliner, and that's pretty much it, but that's the finished look. Um, again, the... These Morphe palettes are not like the most amazingly fantastic formula that's on the market, but it's also um, affordable and they do blend well and they do work. So I know it seems like I use a whole lot of Mor Morphe um, eyeshadows and I've actually been um, looking into trying some um, different brands out, but when Morphe has such a good price point, it's really hard to you know, throw down 42, um, 47, even 52 for some of the Jeffree Star palettes um, that I feel like are kind of close in with that Morphe workability. So um, that's just my thoughts on this. Um, again, let me show you one last look at it before you go. Um, but this is, like I said, going to be fantastic for um, summer and for fall. So I think you'll really get a lot of use out of this. And I'm glad I purchased this. I wasn't like on top of the world, excited about getting it, but 
it looked really nice and I'm glad I purchased it. So that's all for this. Right after this, I'm going to be filming another video that I will probably upload tomorrow. Um, but since I haven't been able to film in a while, I want to go ahead and crank some stuff out because I have a lot of products that I would like to talk to you about. So that's all for this one. Uh, again, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. God bless. Have a great day. Bye.